Hi guys, today I'm gonna be talking about my favorite natural makeup looking products specifically for no makeup makeup look. I've been making a foundation free makeup tutorials or natural makeup tutorials for like two years. So I could say I'm more experienced when it comes to natural looking makeup products rather than high pigmented products. Some products are already mentioned like 100 times and some products are pretty new. But today I'm not going to talk about foundation and concealer because I'm going to make a separate video about them. But instead I'm gonna focus more on color products. I'm so excited to share my favorite products today. So without further ado, let's just dive into it. So first I'm gonna start off with base makeup product and and this is not actually a makeup product but skincare and this is Glossier Future Do. They described this product as oil serum hybrid. So it is kind of a mixture of oil and hydrating serum. Consistency is like a gel. It's thicker than like hydrating serum out there. This is something I will reach out when my skin feels so dry before I put my makeup on or I use it as a highlighter. I used this a lot last winter. On their website, they recommend us to use two pumps of this product. But if you put two pumps on your skin, in some way it looks a bit greasy. So I prefer for using like half a pump or just one pump all over my face or just mainly on the cheek area where I feel the dry the most. In this product, they put glycerin which gives it hydration on your skin and sugarcane squalene. Squalene mimics what's already in our skin so it's such a good emollient and it's good for more dry skin. And also they put a lot of nourishing plant-based ingredients such as jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, evening primrose, and rosehip oil. They put mica for shimmery finish so it gives a really subtle light reflecting effect. And once it absorbs into your skin, it leaves a little bit of tacky finish, but it doesn't bother me at all. And I feel like my skin feels more plump when I apply this product. So I really love this product. And also they recommend us to use after finishing our skincare. So after putting a sunscreen, you can apply this product. But I think this is more suitable for someone who has dry or normal skin because it's really nourishing and hydrating. So if you are someone who has oily skin, you might find this too much like nourishing feeling on your skin. Nowadays, my skin is more in dry size. So for me, it's such a good product to like prep my skin before I put my makeup on or use it as a highlighter. Next, I'm moving on to another base makeup product and that is Red Beauty Illuminating Primer. This is a makeup primer that gives a really nice subtle glow on your face with shimmers before you put a foundation or concealer. Consistency is more like lightweight gel texture and it's more lightweight than Glossier Future Gel because it doesn't have that much like nourishing plant-based oil ingredients as much as Glossier does. Finish is not sticky and not dry so I think it's just perfect to use as a makeup primer or use as a highlighter as well. Some of makeup primer with shimmers makes my skin really like greasy bowl, but this product does not make my face like that. So I really like this product as it looks very, very natural. In this product, they didn't put any silicone, alcohol, and sulfates, and it has pretty simple ink lid. If you like those kind of clean beauty makeup products, you will love this product as this product has relatively simple ink lid, so it might be less irritating other base makeup primer out there but it depends on on your skin type as like they label this as a makeup primer it has a really subtle makeup primer effect like silicone based primer and they put these ingredients to use as a substitute for silicone i don't know how to pronounce it that it gives a dry sleeve silky feel that is similar to how silicone would feel but it doesn't give that dramatic effect when it comes to diffusing the look of your skin texture or pores and then their main ingredient is glycerin, so it is more like hydrating primer rather than silicone based primer. I love using this product just all over my face as it gives the right amount of glow on my face. Next, I'm moving on to blush. For blush, I love using cream or liquid blush as it blends more softly and beautifully onto your skin rather than powder products. As I don't use a foundation very often, so my cheeks are always bare skin. I don't have any like foundation on the top, so when I put a powder products on top of it. It's more likely patchy or blotchy unless I put a powder before that. But I love keeping my look just really natural without making it 
like matte and I love how like liquid or cream blush gives a really nice dewy look on my skin. When it comes to formula, I don't want something setting down too fast because if the product sets really quick, it's more likely to leave the edges. All the products I'm mentioning have actually a lot of play time before they actually set down. So it's gonna be really, really natural. And all the products doesn't have any shimmer in it. So the reason why I love using product without shimmers is because when your cheeks are flush, you don't have any shimmer going around. So that means if the blush has shimmer, it's gonna look more unnatural than when you use a product without shimmer so i like using product without shimmer when i do a no makeup makeup look so first product is this glossy cloud paint and i know that i mentioned like 100 times and you might be sick of me mentioning this product but i have to include this because i really really love this product and shade i brought is dusk and i have all of their shades so if you want to see like full swatches you can check out my video which i create like two years ago and the consistency is like a gel the finish is pretty matte but not dry for color payoff it gives a natural flush of color but it depends on which shade you get some shades are more pigment than others and it's blend really easily with fingertips which i love about i think this product is perfect for makeup beginner because it doesn't require any skills to like get the really natural flush look it doesn't leave any edges you can just blend with fingertips really easily since i got this product i've been testing a lot of cream or liquid blush but this is what i always go back to when i just want to finish my makeup really quick without any um, too much thinking so this is my favorite blush for no makeup makeup look and next product is more like hydrating and more dewy product and that is M Cosmetic Serum Blush and I got the shade Pink Nectar. Consistency is more like liquidy and it's just literally like serum. And the shade I got is Pink Nectar, it's watermelon pink and it gives a really nice vibrant flush on your cheek. In this product, they put a lot of skincare ingredients because Michelle Phan, who is the founder of M Cosmetic, she wanted to make a mixture of skincare and makeup so this how it turns out and i really really love this product for skincare ingredient they put hyaluronic acid such inch oil squalene and vitamin e so it gives a really nourishing and hydrating feeling on your skin i thought this is gonna be really subtle and very natural but it turns out it's pretty pigmented so a little bit of this product goes all the way so you don't need to put a lot of product and it blends really easily with fingertips so it turns out really glow dewy flush on your cheek and and last blush is this milk makeup lip and cheek and i got the shake work this is a balm type of product so it glides on the skin really softly and smoothly when you use this type of um, balm products there are two ways and first way is you just put it directly onto your skin but if you have foundation on top of your skin it is better to place it onto your fingertips first and put it on your cheek because if you just sweep back and forward on the foundation it's gonna ruin your foundation and you don't want that looks but if you normally don't wear a foundation and you put blush on your bare skin you don't have any problem with that when i use this product i just like doing dots on my skin rather than sweeping all up on my cheek and the shade I got work is Dusty Rose, so it's just perfect for my skin tone. The reason why I love this shade is not that like too light or too pinkish. It's a Dusty Rose, so it's just perfect for no makeup makeup look and everyday makeup look. Among three products, this product does give that the most natural looking flush on your cheek and it leaves a big sheen glow on your skin so i really really love this product next category is a highlighter and highlighter i actually have one product and this is a nude stick all over face color and i got the shade hey honey the reason why i love this product is not only formula but also the shade as i have olive warm undertones when i use a highlighter i love using like champagne gold color so this is what exactly it is it gives a really nice dewy champagne gold glow some of liquid or cream highlighter tend to go to patchy or 
um, blotchy and also even when I put a foundation on top of my skin I found it doesn't ruin my skin so I found this product is really good to apply whether I'm wearing a foundation or not but most of time I don't wear a foundation so it, it glides really softly and beautifully on my bare skin so I really really adore this product so I think this product is definitely worth to try among all of their new stick products and next I'm moving on to eyeshadow I also have just one single eyeshadow to introduce and this is Glossy Skywash and I have this shade Palm I actually own all the shades and I also made the full swatches of this product so you can check out that video as well and I know that some of people don't like this product because it's too like sheen too natural some shades are almost like invisible but this shade palm is buildable once you blend it out it gives a really nice wash of color it's really subtle when i just want to do my makeup really quick and easy this is something i will reach out and next i'm moving on to last category which is a lipstick and for lipstick i have three different products they all have different finish and different formulas so i'm gonna start from matte product and that is this glossier Generation G lipstick and I have this shade cake. I own all the shades of this Glossier Generation G lipsticks. This is absolutely my favorite products. I have this shade cake and it's a really subtle peach shade or peachy nude shade and it blends with my natural lip colors so I really love this product and the shade. This product has like crayon like formula I would say so some people don't really like this product because when you apply this product you will find that this is not something that glides on your lips really softly or smoothly so your lips should prep really well with a lip balm or lip mask before you apply this product otherwise it's not gonna apply really well on your lips because it has really nice sheer coverage and it's still buildable so you can just keep applying this product until you get the look you want especially when you don't wear that much makeup on sometimes just normal lipstick look too much this is something matching really well that kind of look no makeup makeup look if you do not like more of a matte lipstick but want something a bit glossy but also natural looking i got you covered this fenty beauty sheer shine lipstick will give you just that and also i made full swatches of these products Again, you can check out my video as well. I'm just gonna put the list of uh, full swatch video playlist on my description box. And the reason why I love this product is because it has really nice sheer color payoff and it has a really subtle glow. And the shade I got is Retro Rose. So it completely made my skin tone well and it's just blend with my natural lip color. So I really, really love this shade, especially for no makeup makeup look. It does have really subtle shimmers in it, but it's not too much. It just gives a really light reflecting effect on your lips. It makes your lips really comfortable and more like nourishing and hydrating. I would reach out to this product when my lips are so dry. But if your lips are super dry and want something a bit color in it, I would highly recommend this product. And this is Lano Lips Tinted Lip Balm SPF 30. I think I've been using this product more than five years, I would say. I got to know this brand like ages ago. Their main ingredients in all of their products is a lanolin. Lanolin is derived from sheep soil and is such a good emollient. It's really good to lock all the moist on your lips and also skin. In this product, their main ingredient is also lanolin and it has SPF 30, which I love about. And this is something I will reach out when my lips are super dry. It does have perfect amount of pigment in it, so it doesn't look too much when you even apply on your best skin. So I think this is the perfect product for me for no makeup make a look as well as for bare skin so these are all of my favorite natural looking makeup products i hope you guys find this video very helpful and also i'm gonna bring a video about concealer and foundation for no makeup makeup look so stay tuned for that thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye